Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre-market video for Tuesday, October 17th, 2023. I am Frank Ochoa, a.k.a. Pivot Boss. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES right now. A narrow range of price action heading into the RTH Open. We have uh, retail sales, econ data coming out here pretty soon. Later on, uh, some FOMC members speaking. Uh, but for the most part, retail sales, core retail sales will be out one hour prior to the RTH open. That could provide a little bit of volatility at the moment. We're seeing uh, a bit of a pullback from the previous session's close. If these markets open below the prior day's midpoints, we may be looking at uh, some MGR sell signals here that could open up weakness here into the bottom of the developing ranges. We have these narrow five, six day ranges that have developed and yesterday was an up a day within this range and today could be a down a day within the range as well until we see a breakout here we can continue to see back and forth price action within the range and once we do see expansion it could be a significant move here right now as of this six day developing range again today's not complete but if it is uh... within the range here we have this reading right now that projects about 189 points up ahead. So we could be looking at a pretty big move uh, soon, 150 to 200 points of range easily in the direction of the breakout. Remember, if we get a false break first, that could be a slingshot move in the opposite direction. That is to say, from a bullish perspective, for example, if we were to break down first and then that breakdown fails, that pivot low can then be used to project the other side of the range here about 200 points. We could be looking at a solid move say to 4500 if price were to drop in the 43 and reject. So watching for expansion from this range at some point. Until then range bound action and right now looking at uh, a down a day within the range. A failure at the midpoint opens up more weakness ahead. If we take a look at the NQ. Right now the NQ is trading 31% of average range exactly like the ES inside day narrow range to the downside at the moment approaching the previous sessions midpoint very similar to the ES this range is also narrow on a six day range basis it's taken that high way up here it's taken this recent low way down here and that's your range right now so it's not the the, the most narrow range but it's compressed enough against the most recent average and what we've been seeing is about 700 and 50 points of movement, 800 points of movement, somewhere in that zone. So we could be looking at about seven to 800 points of expansion soon. Now, again, this market remains well within this larger range right here. The 14.6 support has been significant up here, 16K, very clear. And then we're somewhere in the middle right now, 15.2, 15.3 is kind of that mid zone, somewhere in that area where price is going back and forth. We're kind of converging at the moment here, narrow range here, and soon we get a move that takes us to back to 16K or perhaps we go retest the 14.6 level. We do have some rounded behavior up here. So if we do break this thing to the downside through 15K, that could be quite ominous up ahead and with a big time test at 14.6 down below. Let's take a look here at crude oil very very active price action here out of this one lately but the previous session was mostly digestive after a trend day this provides the potential for a bullish outside day today right now we've already seen a push below the previous sessions low today so far we have a very small narrow range of price action 33 percent of ADR with a rounded bottom developing all of it coming to uh, just below the previous session's close. Above the close there of 87s, we'll begin to open up some upside for a shot at an outside day up. And in the best case scenario, perhaps even a stop run day uh, on top of that, leading to another high range day after this day here. So we could be looking at further strength ahead in the best case scenario, at least to the other side of yesterday's range, outside day component with perhaps even a stop run attached. Uh, there is obviously a two day narrow range that could play out as well but even in that scenario you'd still work your way back to the top of the range here if not just close within it over time but very bullish the previous day here 
big time strength to the upside, especially getting back above 84s. This failed new low right now could be a developing bullish opportunity with some big time potential today. If we take a look here at gold futures, gold had a big time squeeze on Friday back above the 1900 level. That 1900 transition there suggests 1950 and 2000 up above. Today, inside day at the moment, narrow range inside day, but the averages have been increased quite a bit right now. So 70% of ADR. You can see it's a double inside day. And right now, this is very similar to crude oil in that this pullback here could provide an upside continuation ahead as this market makes its move back to 1950, back to the FOMC key level of 1965, and likely through the other side of the range into 2000 above. So right now, very bullish here, pullbacks to be defended for an upside continuation. Lastly, taking a look here at the YM, the YM. One, two, three, four, five day narrow range. Now six. We saw this market move all the way to the top of the previous range there in the previous session. Today could be a rollback of that idea back down within the range. We could be looking at about three to four hundred points of range today pretty easily. And once we get expansion from the six day narrow range, we could be looking at about a thousand points of range pretty easily. A thousand points would be about average for a six day range. If you get the extended version, you're looking at over 1200 points of range. So, right now, building energy for a big push to come, a breakout one direction or the other here. We have been moving higher in the short term. This is kind of a more medium term down move, so we're kind of right at a crossroad here. But one thing to keep in mind here is uh, today may not be a breakout day. We could look at a, a rollback of this market here. And keep in mind, if we open the day below the previous session's midpoints in the futures here, you're going to see MGR sell signals in a lot of stocks. That could be a day one sell signal that leads to more weakness up ahead. So again, while a short-term day move could be seen down within the range at some point expansion could be seen that really triggers the bigger move a thousand to 1250 points of range could be seen ahead so watching this range very closely all right that is it for now we'll see how this develops here heading into the rest of the session good luck trade well and i'll see you in the trading room take care